About 72 kilometers from Delhi, we hit the city of Meerut, famous for housing a gamut of cricket manufacturers. Cricket bats, balls, caps, gloves, wickets and more are all manufactured in factories, big and small, and exported nationally and internationally. The industry of cricket manufacturers saw scale when in 1983, India won the World Cup in England. The sport gained tremendous momentum in India. Growth in the sports market in BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India and China strongly outpaced the overall global market between 2006 and 2010, growing at a compound annual rate of 7.7% compared with only 3.4% for the global market during that period. India has long dominated the international cricket market with the BCCI controlling majority of the International Cricket Council's revenues. But it might not be the case anymore. ICC's media rights deal shows that India's contribution to the world cricket has fallen considerably. After Star won the ICC rights for $1.81 billion for an eight-year period between 2015 to 2023, India's projected contribution will be around $1.175 billion which works out to 65% of the deal. This is lower than the previous two deals, where India has contributed around 82% and 85% for the total revenue, respectively. So how is the trend affecting the manufacturers and their business? With the ongoing World Cup, are they seeing a surge in sales or a slump? Has the demand plateaued? Have the established brands lost their market share? And have the new brands fragmented the market that was once the monopoly of a few established players? Let's find out. Here. I'm at the SG International that has been in the business of cricket manufacturing since the past 83 years. To get a better understanding of its scale and current position, we speak to the Director of Marketing, Paras Anand. What is the percentage of uh, export that you do? See, our uh, export business is almost, almost 40% and the domestic is uh, 60%. Yeah. So majority is what we are doing in India. And within India, which are the states that uh, you know you have bigger dealerships? Uh, I would say uh, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu are the two big states for us, okay. for business, followed by maybe Karnataka. These are the states where uh, even uh, other sport companies sell more of their equipment. You know? So it's just that the culture over there is more more kids part participate in sports. It could be the schools, it could be the colleges or you know the club culture they have there so that is one reason why there is more sports in these states how many say cricket balls do you manufacture in a day or a year if you can see we are doing annually i'll tell you we are doing between 350,000 to 400,000 cricket balls in a year and how much time does it take to manufacture a cricket ball how many workers are involved in it uh, see uh, the cricket ball unit one, that one cricket ball the yeah. cricket ball unit that we have we've got approximately 200 people you know where we process the leather we uh, make the own we make our own core and the drying process of the core itself takes between 2 to 3 months okay. so you know to get that ball when you start today you can only finish the product in 3 months you know that's the cycle of the cricket ball and with the cricket bat it's a faster process you know if you start processing a cleft today you yeah. can get your bat in about 24 hours. In the clefts that you get from the market, is the wood, there's a dearth in the wood that you get. The quality of wood, has it gone down? Has it gone better? See, the quality of wood has not changed as much. The, maybe the yield that, uh, you know, a willow supplier was getting 10 years back, that has probably gone down a bit, but because they're producing more, so obviously, you know, when you do, when you do more production, there has to be some impact on the quality of the, of the wood. And how does one select a good good cricket bat? Uh, not very complicated. You know what players today look at in a bat is you know they want a very good pickup. They want the grains to be even, and they want narrow grains in the bats. And the most important thing after these three factors is the punch in the bat. You know, so you can easily tap a ball on the bat and find out you know whether this bat will go or it will not go. Now we head to another well-known cricket manufacturer, BD Mahajan and Sons Private Limited. Been in the business since 1925. What is the market share of BDM in the industry? Right now, our shares automatically gone down due to, you know, like uh, you must have seen this Nike, Reebok, Adidas, MRF. These are all big brands, they have come up in the industry. So they have grabbed our all great players from the childhood. So they are paying a very big high scale, which we cannot afford to give them as a royalty. So that's why our brand and the image of the company is going down. So how much was BDM share say 30 years back? 
30 years back it was around 50 percent in, in India. Okay, and now it will be? Now these days around 30 percent. We are having you know 200 workers in our section, okay. cricket ball section okay. and cricket bat factory, okay. and uh, we are making 400 bats in a day. And number of balls? Number of balls we are making 50 dozen, 50 dozen balls in a day. So what is the percentage of export? Our uh, basically export is very less compared to other manufacturers. Okay. Basically, you know, UK, Australia. South Africa, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. Mr. Majan, tell us something about the willows, the English willow and the Kashmir willow. We can import willow from England, but we cannot import willow from Kashmir. Oh, there is a ban. Okay. We cannot import willow from there. What they are looking for, because they are asking, you have to make bat there. Bat, you can't make there, because moisture is there. Okay. And in 12 months, there is a 8 months, there is a rainy season or uh, winter season. Winter season. Okay. Due to that, you can't make it bad over there. And the excise duty that is imposed on sports goods? Yeah, that is very wrong. In recently, in 2011, they imposed this uh, excise duty on sport goods, mm -hmm. especially on gloves. They have put 12% excise on leather gloves. Okay. Uh, we don't know why they have chosen this. Because just they have seen, you know, the Commonwealth Games, during Commonwealth Games, people imported so many items in India. Now let's meet a relatively new entrant, MJ International, that set up its operation in 1998. A fast-growing unit that focuses on customizing cricket equipment for associations and academies. So what all do you manufacture in? Today we manufacture everything in cricket apart from cricket balls. What's the market share that you have? We are pretty small in terms of uh, market share. I can't say what the exact share, but we are doing fine, we are, doing, we are growing. I mean, the majority of share is with the big boys, but we are, we are still growing. For last uh, couple of years, things have changed drastically for us as well, because we are mainly into customization. I mean, we are exporting to countries like UK and Australia mainly, but we do get orders from even Hong Kong, Bangkok, Singapore, Kenya. So cricket is growing worldwide. So everybody wants to start their own brand. Big boys don't make for them. Small guys, they don't trust. So we are... In that segment, so what's where, the percentage yeah. of export in, uh, within India? Our company is 95% uh, is exports. Only 5% goods we do domestic. And uh, domestic, how much? Where, where do you cater to more? Uh, our main market is basically down south, which is Chennai, Bangalore mm -hmm. and Hyderabad. So how many cricket bats do you manufacture in a day? Uh, at this point of time, we're doing about 80 to 100 bats a day. Since the, you know, IPL's birth? Yeah. How, how has the cricket equipment uh, pricing differed? There's a term called sublimated clothing, which, which has com completely come out from IPL. People never used to buy with that, all those logos and all that. Now every small, uh, you know, tournament, they want to have their logos, sponsored logos. Okay. So which is again, things have changed, yeah. Alright, and what sort of companies are approaching for these kind of logos? A lot of, a lot of even uh, the, a lot of corporates who come here, as in, uh, we, they had a banking tournament few few months back in Delhi. They again wanted to have that logos of their team, individual names, numbers, everything. While at the factory, we also spoke to few workers who have been in the business over the past 30 years and were witness to the change in scale and production capabilities over the years. I have been in this year. 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 I have been in this पहले सारा काम हाथ से हुआ करता था अधिकतर काम मशीन से हो रहा पहले ऐसा था जैसे उसे यहां काम सिखाया जाता था चाहे वो बनवाई का हो चाहे वो बैट की तैयारी का हो चाहे स्टिक करने का कोई भी काम था सब यहीं सिखाया अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बिजनेस एंड चैलेंजेस ऑफ क्रिकेट मैन्युफैक्चरर्स इज इनकंप्लीट टिल वी गेट टू सी द एक्शन ऑन द ग्राउंड वी आर एट द ग्रेडिंग सेक्शन ऑफ मेरिट्स एसजी फैक्ट्री फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू चूज अ गुड पीस ऑफ विलो द नंबर ऑफ ग्रेन्स and how straight and evenly spaced they are determines the quality of a good piece of willow. A wood with 10 to 15 straight grains evenly spaced can easily be marked as a grade 1 wood. Once the grading of the clefts is done, they are taken to the section where the extra wood from the clefts is scooped out with the help of a draw knife and spoke shaves. The clefts are then pressed and free shaved. Every blade gets pressed at the hydraulic press which compresses the surface so that it can withstand the ball impact. A V-shaped cut is made at the handle side of the cleft for the handle to be inserted. Handles are made out of cane and are machine turned to create exactly the right size and shape. A V-shape is cut at the bottom of the handle too to fit the groove on the cleft. The handle and cleft are fixed together with powerful glue. They must fit together accurately. 
The handle is glued and bound with twine thread. After that, they are left for 24 hours for the glue to dry. The shoulder of the bat and bottom of the blade is then shaped. Careful sanding and polishing is done thereafter to make it smooth. Buffing of the bat gives it a nice sheen. The blade is waxed and ready for the last stages of the process. Fitting the rubber grip on the handle is at the final stage. Despite the technological advancements in manufacturing, a cricket ball is still handcrafted and hand stitched. A leather piece is first tanned, then cut into four quarters. Each quarter is then stitched together into two different pieces forming a hemisphere. When the leather is being shaped into a hemisphere, five layers of cork are tightly wound over a piece of cork wood with merino wool. The ball is then hammered to give it a nice round shape. The tightly wound cork is then kept for two to three months for it to dry. The two hemispheres are closed with coated cork inside it and then hand stitched using the very finest of linen. Then lip stitching is done to the outer covering of the cricket ball which is called the seam. The ball is then polished till it gets a good sheen. Stamped with the company logo, the ball is then packed into boxes and moved out for sale. To get a sense of how the sales of these manufacturers are doing in the market, we headed to Sadar Bazaar, the busiest and largest wholesale market in New Delhi. Really cricket bats, mein, is mein balance jo sabse mane rakhta hai. Nahi ki ham 10,000 ka bat le liye to bahut acha hua. Agar wo 2,000 ka bhi bat hoga, English billow bat hoga, usme balance acha aur khiladi ke hath mein judge kiya to wo bat bahut acha. India ke jo khiladi hai, other country ke jo khiladi hai, to wo koko bora hua, koi greeny calls hua, koi new balance hua, koi stand for hua, koi cylinder hua. अदर अदर कंपनियों से स्पॉन्सर कर रहे हैं खेल रहे हैं पिछले कुछ सालों में तो क्रिकेट कम ही हुआ है जी बेसिकली देखा जाए पिछले कुछ सालों में कम हुआ है टीवी के ऊपर एज ए गेम देखा ज़्यादा जा रहा है एडवर्टाइजमेंट ज़्यादा हो रही है बट बेसिक लेवल पे जो बच्चे खेल रहे हैं वो क्रिकेट का खेलना कम हो रहा है क्योंकि जो बिजनेस हमारा क्रिकेट का आज से दस साल पहले हुआ करता था उसका इस वक्त शायद आधा भी नहीं रह गया बाकी चीज़ें टेक ओवर कर गई हैं क्रिकेट को गोइंग बाई द वॉइस एंड विशुल्स वी एव क्रॉनिकल थ्रू दिस डॉक्यूमेंट्री इट इज़ क्लियर दैट द मार्केट इज सींग सम टफ टाइम्स While the market for cricket manufacturers will never die, it will dwindle given the volatility of demand, entry of international manufacturers and how the sport evolves in the years to come in reach and scale. PwC projects during the next 5 years this gap will narrow sharply with sports revenue growth in BRIC countries averaging 4.5% compounded annually compared with 3.7% for the global market.